friends welcome to my channel in this video we are going to discuss the same topic eigen vectors but here we will find whether the eigen vectors are pairwise orthogonal or not okay so let us go to the question what is the question if the eigen vectors of the following matrix are 3 6 9 then verify that the corresponding eigen vectors are pairwise orthogonal and a matrix is given on the question okay so previously what we have done for finding the eigen vectors we have to find the eigen values we have found the eigen values and after that we find the eigen vectors and after that we have seen whether they are uh, linear dependent or independent but here after finding the eigen vectors we have to check whether they are pairwise orthogonal or not for for checking that we have to do dot product so let us do that in the upcoming part okay so already they are given like lambda values like the eigen values are already given right lambda 1 equal to 3 Lambda two equal to six, and lambda three equal to nine. Okay, so let us check and let us find the three eigen vectors. Okay, uh, at lambda equal to three, lambda one equal to three, right? At this eigen value, what is the eigen or corresponding eigen vector? So for that, what we have to do, as I mentioned in the previous video, we have to first six minus three, right? Six minus three. Let me do directly so that it will be easy for you. Six minus three, six minus three, three, two and minus two. It's two for two, and five minus three. Five minus three is two, right? Six minus three is three. Five minus two is five minus three is two. Okay, and zero for zero, minus two, zero, and seven minus three, four, right? Okay, and after that, this is the matrix, and we have found the after subtracting the lambda value, we have got this. So what we have to do? We know that x one by x one value. So For that, consider these two rows, okay? And this is the value of so x1, x2, and x3, correct, right? So, for finding the x1 by these two, these two remove. Minor, what is the minor? Two minus two, two zero, is equal to minus x2 by x2 means this, this one, and this one we have to remove. What is that? Three minus two, two zero. Three minus two, two zero. That is equal to X3 by X3 by what is it? X3 by this one we have to remove and this one we have to remove, right? Three two two two. Okay. What is this? Three two two and two. Okay. That means X1 by two into zero zero two into zero zero minus two into minus two minus four means plus four. Okay. X1 by four. That is equal to minus X2 by Three into zero, zero minus two into minus two minus four. That means four minus x two by four. X three by three into two six minus two into two four. That is equal to two. X three by two. Let me multiply by two. Okay. Then x one by two. Like two by four is one by two, right? X one by two is equal to x two by minus two. That is equal to x three by one. Okay. You got it, right? So what is the vector one? V one is equal to two minus two one. Okay, you got it right. How we find the uh, vector? So similarly, we have to do for the next two vectors also. At lambda two equal to six. So what we get at lambda two equal to six? We have to subtract the six from the diagonal elements, right? This is the matrix, and we have to subtract from the diagonal elements. So what is the matrix? Six two minus two two five zero. Minus two zero seven. This is the matrix side. So let me subtract six from the diagonal elements. Six minus six zero. As it is, two five five minus six is minus one zero minus two zero seven minus six is seven minus six is one. We got right. This is the matrix after subtracting the lambda. Now let me find the next one. Like a uh, vector. For finding the vector, what we have to do? X one by. Here is the matrix side. In this matrix, x1, x2, x3, and we have to consider only these two rows. Correct? For finding the x1, these four are the values. Two minus two minus one zero. Two minus two minus one zero. That is equal to minus x2 by minus x2 by. For x2, what we have to do? X2, because if you can see. X two. This one we have to remove, and this one. Okay. What are the values? Zero minus two, two zero. What are the values? Zero minus two, 
and 2 and 0 that is equal to x3 by x3 by if you remove these two 0 to 2 minus 1 right 0 2 and 2 minus 1 okay then x1 by 2 into 0 0 minus 2 into 1 minus 2 into minus 1 2 so 0 minus 2 so minus 2 minus x2 by c nothing confusion 2 into 0 2 into 0 0 minus minus 2 into minus 1 minus 2 into minus 1 is plus 2 and minus of plus 2 is minus 2 got it right yeah 0 into 0 0 minus 2 into minus 2 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 so minus of minus 4 is plus 4 you got it right x minus x2 by 4 that is equal to x3 by 0 into minus 1 minus 1 uh, sorry 0 into minus 1 0 minus 2 into 2 4 so minus 4 so x1 by minus 2 is equal to x2 by minus 4 that is equal to x3 by minus 4 so if you multiply by minus 2 on these three what we get the resultant vector v1 is equal to here this value will be 1 see minus 2 by minus 2 cancel and we get value 1 2 and 2 sorry this is vector 2 for vector 2 we got it right now let us find at lambda 3 equal to what is the third value 9 see question is 3 6 9 for 3 this is the respected vector and for 6 this is the respected vector and for 9 we have to find uh, what is the vector here 3 2 minus 6 2 minus 2 2 5 0 minus 2 0 7 this is the vector right after subtracting the 9 from the diagonal elements what we get 6 minus 9 minus 3 2 minus 2 2 5 minus 9 minus 4 0 minus 2 0 minus 2 you got it right how we got this yeah x1 by this is x1 x2 x3 this one this okay after removing this two what is the vector? 2 minus 2 4 0 which is equal to minus x2 by after removing this and this what we get this and this minus 3 minus 2 2 and 0 and for x3 this one and this one after removing these two minus 3 2 2 and minus 4 x1 by 2 into 0 0 minus 4 into minus 2 is minus 8 minus of minus 8 plus 8 is equal to minus x2 by 3 into 0 0 minus 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 so plus 4 that is equal to x3 by minus 3 into minus 4 is plus 12 minus 2 into 2 4 so x3 by 8 x1 by 8 is equal to x x2 by minus 4 that is equal to x3 by 8 so if you multiply by 4 on these 3 then what we get x1 by 2 x2 by 1 that is equal to x3 by 2 so if you see what we get the third vector vector 3 equal to 2 1 2 Sorry, I have done here a mistake. Here it is minus 4, right? I have to take it as minus 4. Then it will be plus 8, minus of plus 8, minus 8. And this will be minus 4. And this will be minus 1, minus 2, right? Minus 2, minus 1. Okay? This will be, see. Here it is minus 4. And for this it will be minus 8. And it will be minus 4, right? Minus 8, minus 4, minus 8. Minus 2, minus 2, minus 1, 2. So we got the three vectors, right? Let us write. Now we have found the three vectors, right? What are three vectors? V1 is equal to 2, mi two minus 2, 1. 2 minus 2, 1. Vector 2 equal to 1, 2. And what is vector 3? Minus 2, minus 1, 2. Minus 2, minus 1, 2. So these are the three vectors. So we have so what is the question find first we have to find the eigen vectors and we have to prove verify we have to verify whether they are ortho pairwise orthogonal or not for for doing that simply like what we have to do is we have to check the dot products if the dot products got zero then we can say that they are pairwise orthogonal 
if the dot product is not zero then we can say that they are not pairwise orthogonal okay so how to do dot product let me do for v1 and v2 let us take v1 and v2 vectors let us do the dot product dot product is nothing but 2 into 1 is 2 right minus 2 into 2 minus 4 1 into 2 is plus 2 4 minus 4 is 0 so dot product of v1 and v2 is 0 let me take v2 and v3 1 into minus 2 is minus 2 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 plus 2 into 2 is 4 that equal to 0 so dot product of v2 and v3 is 0 and similarly v1 and v3 dot product 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 minus 2 into minus 1 is plus 2 1 into 2 is plus 2 that is equal to 0 so dot product of v1 v2 v3 okay so both three are zero so if the dot product is zero we can simply say that they the three vectors are paired with orthogonal hence it is we can say hence it is proved hence proved so thank you guys for watching the video in from this we can say that our eigenvalue and eigenvectors topic is completed in the next video we are going to discuss the iterations like gauss jacobi method and gauss seidel method so stay tuned for the comment for the next video comment gauss jacobi